You know, facing truth is the only thing that sets us free. John 8, 31 and 32 says, If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. You can only find freedom through facing truth. Let me tell you a few things about truth. Truth defined is the way things really are, not the way we think they are or wish they were. <laughs> truth equals reality from God's point of view, not from our point of view, but from God's point of view. What does God think about our behavior? What does God think about the choices that we're making in our life? I tell you, I hear some of the craziest stuff from people. It's just, a woman called in one time and said a lot of her friends were doing things that were dishonest, but they felt like God was blessing them, and she wanted to know if she could do things dishonest and God would bless her. I mean, what sense does that even make? Why would you even ask a question like that? God means business, and he tells us what to do and be blessed and what not to do unless we want to lose those blessings. I want peace with God, don't you? I want to know when I lay my head down at night that, not that I've been a perfect person because there's no day that I ever am perfect, but I do want to know that I gave it my best and that the things that I did wrong I repented for, that I wasn't hiding from them. It took me a long time to get to that point. I did a lot of this running myself in the earlier years of my life. Truth is a central theme in the Word of God. Jesus said, I am the truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. He is the Word of truth. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth. And we are those, the Bible says, who belong to the truth. Jesus came full of grace and truth, the Bible says in John 1.14. John 1.17 says, For while the law was given through Moses, grace, unearned, undeserved favor, and spiritual blessing and truth came through Jesus Christ. And I love this one. Psalm 51.6, Behold, you desire truth in the inner being. Make me to know wisdom in my inmost heart. First place we got to be truthful is within ourselves about ourself, not try to make excuses and blame other people, but take responsibility for the things that we do that God doesn't want us to do. God has such a good life planned for each and every one of us, but we need to walk in truth. We need to love the truth. God loves the truth. 